I actually reveal what's inside. It has been six days since I've added the, it reads this side up. Having a pond is like having a head of hair. Try not to make a mess. You know, it's basically for the sake of the fish. Never mind those beautiful fish. How about we go take a swim? Aloha, my ohana. This is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. And you know, we just received a box in the mail, but we're gonna go into the backyard and open it up near Tiki Falls. Maybe it might be for Tiki Falls, maybe not. You guys will see. Also, do me a favor. Stay tuned towards the end of this video because I got a surprise for you. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're outside in the backyard and we're gonna actually reveal what's inside of that box right there. As you notice, it reads this side up. So, hmm, what could it be? Could it be something for the pond? Let's see. Do you guys have a clue? Here we go. I feel it, I feel it. Try not to make a mess. Boom, look at this. And you guys may be asking yourself, what is that? All right, let's take it out of the plastic. Boom, here it is guys by Aquascape. It's called Algicide. Now this is gonna reduce any type of growing algae inside the pond versus <clears throat> like on the exterior, like the waterfall. Like that one video where I showed you how I removed the uh, algae from the waterfall and the rocks. This here is gonna keep it from going back. Algicide, now I needed to get a new bottle. I really wanted to show it during that video, but since it came in today, just because of what's going on in the world, I'm able to share this with you guys. This is my secret potion. This is what's gonna eliminate. Let me show you guys my pond. Now, if you look really close, let's just go down by the box filters. You can actually see uh, from the tubing there. You see all that algae that's growing? You can even see it down on the actual box filter. Never mind those beautiful fish, you know. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. Anyways, you can see the green algae on the tube lines. And like I said before, algae is extremely healthy for the pond, but sometimes it's just a sight for sore eyes. And so this is what I like to do to eliminate it. Each capful is for 50 gallons. So this is roughly about 600 gallons. So it says to apply the algicide near waterfalls or the pump. So it actually mixes or near an aerator. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to probably do maybe half down this waterfall so it gets down through all the waterfalls and then half on this little waterfall over here then i'll add a couple more maybe capfuls right here at the waterfall as it's mixing as it enters the pond now it says every three days to apply according to uh, how your pond looks and once you see the algae gone it eliminates green water too as well just so you guys know and once you see it starting to um, disappear then you lay off of it and then you apply maybe it says once a week um, this is a 32 ounce container here and I believe I spent like $17 on it and this is gonna last me for probably a couple seasons I do go through a lot more of this I would say just to maintain the algae control during the summer because of the sun and whatnot but if you have a shade cell over the top of your pond and it doesn't get that much sun obviously you don't have to worry too much about a lot of algae growth but if you got direct sunlight hitting your pond you're definitely gonna need at least one of these as far as controlling the algae goes and making your pond crystal clear this is the stuff I'll have a link down in the description below if you guys are interested on getting some of this algicide and uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply it it's fish safe it's plant safe but it's not crustacean safe so shrimp snails things of that sort lobsters this is actually for aquariums too you can use this for your tank and like i said one capful is 50 gallons this is 32 ounces so it's gonna last me a while and it's actually gonna help from new algae blooms to grow too so this stuff right here i'm telling you all you guys that have ponds outdoors indoors this stuff is great all right we have one capful here that's 50 gallons probably mix them over here we're gonna throw a couple more here in the falls All right, this would be a hundred gallons here add some there and some more right here that would be a hundred gallons let's go add a couple hundred gallons over here too as well right, so now we're on the bigger falls here and we're gonna go ahead and add it right here and let it trickle all the way down the falls like I said this is plant safe and fish safe let's add a couple more a little bit here some more here and this is going to be about like 300 gallons so far so let's go add some in the pond too as well okay let's add some right by this waterfall 
That's another 50 gallons. Let's fire some over there by that waterfall. So we'll ride out about 400 gallons worth of algaecide in this pond. We still have about four more of these capfuls and we'll be good to go. If you look really close, I wanted to zoom in on a capful. It kind of looks like a bunch of little stringy worm type things, but they're not moving. It's just interesting to see. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some right over the box filter. And then I'm gonna drop another capful or so over that box filter too as well. Right, right over this box filter. And then two more capfuls and we're good. All right, all right. The Hawaiian fish keeper has a little bit of a confession for you guys, all right? Let me explain. Now I do get left a lot of comments on how clear my pond looks and how great it looks and oh my gosh. And I'm gonna actually share with you what I use to keep this pond looking crystal clear clean and healthy so not only do i use algaecide but i'm going to share with you guys my other secret potions that i use for tiki falls including maintain for ponds by aquascape now this right here is an excellent product one pump just one pump is a hundred gallons so i just add six pumps to tiki falls and i'm going to read the back of this all right to show you guys exactly what this does maintain for ponds reduce re re oh what the heck this is what is this french I think this is French. Hold, hold on. All right, there we go. Sheesh. All right, messed my game up. Here we go. Maintain for ponds reduces maintenance and helps maintain optimum water quality by combining our most effective treatments into one powerful treatment. The formulation includes a beneficial bacteria blend, phosphate binder, uh, flocculant, and detoxifier, resulting in a healthy, crystal clear, maintenance-free pond. You guys read that maintenance free pond. This is my secret potion. And then I also use pond detoxifier. It basically detoxifies chlorine, chloramine, heavy metals, and ammonia. It works instantly. Also one pump for a hundred gallons. So I put six pumps in Tiki Falls, but also let me just read this on the back. Well, not French. Let's read this right here. Uh, I wanted to share this with you allows some metals like iron to be used as a fertilizer for pond plants. It's safe for fish, plants, and animals. All these products here are safe for plants and fish. Just an FYI, these are my three secret ingredients that I use to keep Tiki Falls looking crystal clear. Now you guys know my secrets, all of my secrets in my pond. I'm telling you, get you guys some good aquascape products, you know? You can't just get a pond and not like maintain your pond, right? Now, I don't even know if this is the right analogy or not, but like having a pond is like having a head of hair, even though I don't have any. I don't even know why I'm coming up with this analogy, but like when you have a head of hair, uh, you take care of it, right? You use shampoo, you use conditioner, you use product in your hair to make it look good. Same thing with a pond. You gotta add product to your pond to make it look good to make it healthy and uh, it's basically for the sake of the fish you know everything that's living in your pond okay so just keep that in mind aloha guys good morning it has been six days since I've added the algaecide by aquascape in Tiki Falls 2.0 and I wanted to give you the after video so if you look down on the hose here check it out pretty much all that algae is cleared up And we'll go right into the box filter here. Look at the box filter. Look at that. All that algae. Do you remember all the algae growth that was over the cover there? And kind of blocking the debris from going down into the filter. Same thing with this box filter here. See that one there? How it used to be covered. Just covered in algae. Look at it. it's pretty much clear you know compared to what it was I wanted to just show you guys that algaecide by aquascape is the truth and of course look at all the rocks they used to be a little bit more covered in algae but not only that though look at the clarity too of Tiki Falls look at that huh so after three days, I have to let you guys know, after three days, the algae did go down, but for my liking, not enough. So I added another dose and waited three more days. So this is after six days um, of the first dose. So I added two doses 
to Tiki Falls. And this is what it looks like. I just wanted to show you guys this is proof, you know. Algicide by Aquascape. Nice, healthy pond. And the other products that I actually used for it, it's the real deal. Well, here's the surprise, guys. How about we go take a swim with the fish of Tiki Falls? Let's go.